In this video, I'm going to show you how VOW, otherwise known as Virtual Office Website, and sold listing search functionality work on your Realty Ninja site. In order to enable this functionality, we're going to have to log into your site. So head over to the top and type in slash login at the end of your address. Log in with your email and password. Once logged in, head over to settings and then scroll down a little bit. So VOW functionality is an added layer on the existing user account functionality on your website. If VOW is available for your real estate board, then you'll see a link here for activation instructions. Go ahead and click that link. Clicking the link will take you to our guide, which has specific instructions for each real estate board. Essentially, your board will require you to sign a VOW agreement with them and designate Realty Ninja as the VOW service provider. You'll send that to us once it's signed by you and your real estate board. And once we've received a copy of your signed agreement, our team will enable this functionality on your website. Once enabled, that will make your setting go from looking like this to looking like this. Now let's go ahead and log out of the back end of your website and see what this new functionality looks like to users browsing your site. Users can register for a VOW account through a number of methods. For example, they can click the dedicated account link, which is in the header of your website, and they can register or log in from there. They can visit any listing on your website, and on the listing detail page, if they scroll down, they'll see a section that says there's additional information available for the listing, and they can create an account or log in from there. They can also visit any MLS search page on your website, and they'll have this drop down here that lets them switch from active listings to sold. Either way, to create an account, users will simply fill in this form providing their name, email, phone number, and password. They'll also be required to read and agree the, to the VOW terms and privacy policy. Please take a moment to make yourself familiar with the terms. Once the form is actually submitted, the user will be required to check their email and verify it by clicking a special link in it. They'll also be required to change their password every 30 days. Once their email is verified, they can log in through that same lightbox and they'll be taken to their account dashboard. On their dashboard, it states the benefits of having an account. So regular account gets them the ability to save MLS searches and get email alerts on new listings that match their criteria. Having a VOW enabled account adds these three benefits. So more listings for sale that are not on the public MLS, more listing information, and the ability to search sold listings. So because they're logged into an account, now they can navigate their way to any listing or MLS search to start taking advantage of these benefits. For example, I'll click into this listing and scroll down and I'll see a big table of additional information as well as room sizes and bathrooms. Also, if they visit any MLS search on the website, they can change the status of the search from active to solds and now when they choose their criteria, they'll be presented with sold listings. They'll also be able to save this search and subscribe to daily email alerts anytime something sells matching their criteria. Note that because this video is publicly accessible, we're not allowed to show you specific VOW data, but now you have an understanding of how the functionality works. As the website administrator, you can also preset a search page on your website to show sold listings. So if a VOW user is logged in, they'll see the listings right away. And if they're not, it'll prompt them to register for an account. If you have any questions about VOW, sold listing search, or anything else, please reach out to our team and we'll do our best to help you. Thanks.